This, this is going to be for a very bare basic gray tube. Uh, this right here is just a plastic plexiglass piece. Um, it has a couple holes drilled right there and right there that I was going to wrap some wire on for a coil for a gray tube healing machine but I'm going to seal those holes up with JB Weld and I just have these caps on here which will have a hole drilled in it for a high voltage rod and a low voltage rod to be inserted in the middle and it's good to use bigger rods but this is just going to be just for basic proof of concept and then for the grid I'm going to use one or I'm going to use at least two and possibly three layers of grids concentrically around the tube or around the rod which they'll be one two three or at least two what I'm going to use is copper mesh and you can get this at our supply stores and this copper mesh is used for molding sculptures and stuff like that well I got this quite a while back for about fifteen bucks and that was probably you know six years ago or something and prices have gone up so I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is probably thirty bucks at a art supply store right now but this is the perfect stuff make sure you use prefer perforated you know where there's holes in it and the reason is is because as the voltage potential fragments ninety degrees outwards you want this to fragment that potential but anyway this is just going to be a bare basic model and so this is a good way to do it copper mesh so I may have to use one of these holes right here simply to bring the wire out which will go to an electromagnetic coil in order to pulse from the energy captured by the grid and that goes back to a low voltage potential which has a common ground back to the high voltage common ground so I took the outside tube here and formed it around this which is just a little bit smaller than the inside diameter of this for the gray tube not a full-blown one just a small miniature one and I just soldered in spots just down just to make the connection because it was just slightly little or too short to come together all the way but um, even if it did I think it's still a good idea to seal it somewhat now here's a second tube that will fit inside here I might do a third or third one um, did that in the past and it's kind of a chore when you're working on this scale to get one that skinny but I, I just might do it but anyway that would be two right there with the rods going down the middle and I might just use a great big rod and just leave it at two grids this is some uh, pretty thick insulation high voltage wire 20,000 volts plus um, I got this reel from uh, Peter it's pretty insulated so it's really good for high voltage stuff and I'm having this wire I got about maybe a foot and a half close to two feet just give me enough to play with and I have it inserted into one of the little holes on the tube and I have it soldered straight to the outside grid okay you can see that that's soldered straight to the outside so I stripped off maybe half an inch to three quarters of an inch of uh, insulation stuck it through the thing bent it upwards slipped the tube in and I just put a bunch of solder right here and just press it down real hard so it melts down onto the wire and I got a pretty good connection there so anyway next task is to put this in the middle and I will use little spacers of probably copper wire going from here to here concentric uh, maybe every 120 degrees and that's just to keep it in place now this is the mini gray tube I'm putting together two concentric rings of copper mesh from an art supply store high voltage wire coming in to a small hole right there in the side of the plastic and is soldered to the outer grid inner grid is spaced roughly I don't know quarter to a third
maybe a quarter of an inch and I'm just going to leave it two grids and originally I'm thinking of using just this rod right here but I'm actually going to get some fat rod that I'm going to stick through the middle that's pretty close to the inner grid but the space between the rod and the grid is further than the high voltage rod to the low voltage rod.